Shalwam, 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 when the star of souls begin no praise thee. How about Shemmy, our Shabbat, Shemmy, Kakadash, that belongs the Apostle, great most, and an honors to you, brothers, doing the work of the most high in truth and in sincerity. Yahweh's raw name, of whom the world ignorant calls God, Jehovah or Yahweh, his raw name is Yahweh. His son's true name is Yahweh Shai. And when we pray, pray Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba meaning in, Ha meaning that, and Sham meaning names, Yahweh, and the name of Yahweh Shai. Real quick. Man, wow, like I'd seen this earlier on today, um, but I didn't properly uh, process it, right? You know, because obviously I saw this number here, 444, and I was like, oh man, and right? I immediately sent it to the Archeum, right? You know, so basically this is from Peter Schiff, says in case no one has noticed the US debt um, has risen by $444 billion in the past two weeks. At that pace, the US would be adding $11 trillion per year to the national debt. Right, so right now, as I just checked earlier on, in fact, what I'll do is I'll uh, prepare it and then bring it to the screen. Right, um, it, 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 it's 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 uh, it's unmanageable. Right, uh, we can uh, let me Peter Schiff, there we go. Right, so you see these numbers there. Right, the last time I did this 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 video, like this is what like two weeks ago now, maybe. Right, it was it was it had just hit three trillion. Right. And then now, once again, in, in like two weeks, it's gone up by 440 billion. This is going to be 445 at this rate by the, by, you know, by the, by, by the morning. Okay. So yeah, man, America's done. America's finished. It's finished. Okay. Cause it's like what? 11 trillion per year. That's more or less. Um, that's just shy of, um, would you call it? That's just shy of, of a trillion dollars a month that is going to be added to America's debt. It can't be, it can't, it can't, there's, there's no, there's no helping it. it you, the scriptures has it, the, um, uh, the scriptures are on point, right? Um, uh, this is Jeremiah 51, I'm actually going to start from seven. Um, so Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. Right now, basically the Lord basically had the system whereby, you know, America had, that hegemony right over the world right america had that hegemony over the world and um as such right they were able to um what's the word i'm looking for yeah they were able to you know put their influence right out into the world right the most high allowed for this to happen as well part of the most size plan okay and in doing so right being able to you know uh, whip around that ability to say you know sanction if you don't do as we say and that was all backed by that us dollar but that us dollar is done right once again a trillion more or less a trillion dollars a month going on to that um that debt clock right america's done there's no there's no healing Okay, so the nations have drunken of her wine yet they followed after her ways followed after her policies including the monetary policy okay this is babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed right how for her and take balm if so be she may be healed right we would have healed babylon but she is not healed forsake her right and, and that's it we would have healed babylon trump saying make america great again right a burden saying build back better right no in fact even as i'm saying that i'm just like right that's actually the same phrase just you know phrased uh, uh, differently right Right, but basically, um, that that is makes you think of Revelation thirteen and eleven. Uh, it says, "And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon." Right, and this is basically speaking about the two party system, right? Because lambs, you know, oh, it's just lambs, but two, but it's two, but really, it's that um, when when basically it's two sides of the same beast, right? You know, you still have people that believe in voting, which you no know, Israelites are supposed to be voting whatsoever. That's against our laws, right? And scriptures say we cannot set up, you know, over 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 ourselves, right? And 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 and, and heathen nation, someone someone that isn't heathen, right? But Jake be doing it anyway, okay? But they're trying to vote for them, but they they both have the same ideas, right? Which ultimately that comes to the destruction of the Israelites, okay? So. It says uh, Jeremiah 21 and 9, we would have healed Babylon, right? But she is not healed. Forsake her, let us go everyone into his own country, for her judgment reached unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Okay, so the, 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 Lord, the Lord has written it such that America is going to be destroyed. And once again, just, just reading into this, it's only a matter of time now. Okay, 
it's only a matter of time. I've got Habakkuk 2 and 6, but I'll, I'll jump up to 3. Um, it says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. Right? Not like, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come and it will not tarry. Right? So the Lord has all of these different prophecies. Right? And each, each of these different prophecies right, have to be fulfilled at an appointed time. Okay, um, it says though it tarries, so it, you know, in, in, in this flesh, it seems like these things, um, you know, are taking a long time. But let's be real. Let's say think think back to when you first came in, right? Think about what was happening then and how much of a different world this is now. This is a completely different world, right? Now, you know, I've not even been, uh, you know, in this in this uh, thing, but a minute. The Lord didn't even bring me into this thing, but for a minute. And the world is completely different um, to 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 what it was when when the Lord, you know, showed, showed you know revealed this tr His truth unto me. Okay, so in 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 the in the scheme of rather in the in the in the flesh, right, it may seem like it's taking a time, but it says wait for it. Right, have patience. And this thing of ours is all about patience. Right, and patience possesses your souls. Right. This is because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So all of these prophecies are going to be fulfilled. And man, they, how 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 is a trillion dollars a debt a month sustainable, right? Uh, I don't I don't I don't think that it is, right? And there's of course we're going to get to the sixth verse, right? Which is, um, shall not all these take up a parable against him, a taunting proverb against him, and say, woe to him that increases that which is not his, right? And these. Edomites have, have basically done it. That's why you'd be seeing the U.S. Army every, anywhere and everywhere. You see them because that that's what they do. They go around, um, uh, 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 what do you call it, taking and, uh, and stealing people's resources. Okay. you There's clips of the, the U.S. Army outside of, not outside, but basically U.S. Army trucks, you know, it's taking uh, Syria's oil. And one of the things um, that I read not too long ago, basically, was speaking on like how, um, you know, at first they were labeling it. Ugh, I don't even want to say 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 that word. You know how YouTube does, right? But you know that that group that is named after one of those Egyptian gods, right, with four letters, right? Um, that group, basically, they were the ones stealing the oil, and then basically Russia came in and took took them out. So they're now basically it's just a straight up U.S. military. Right, stealing, you know, stealing the oil, right? So uh, that that that's 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 America's history. As once again, woe to him that increased that which is not his, right? Woe meaning destruction. It's one of the reasons America is going to be destroyed. This isn't to him that ladeth himself with thick clay, right? And as as always, whenever we go into that word, that thick clay goes into debt, right? Heavy debt. Now I don't know what this was when uh, we first opened uh, the image. Right, but let's look at it now. So I mean, yeah, I remember it was like six seventy. It was six seventy when we opened up this image. I'm sure, I'm sure of it. Right, you always I'll verify it when you know when 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 I um it was definitely six seven something. Right, but now it's six eight three, I believe. Anyway, I you know well, my, I ain't got the best memories. <laughs> you know, forgive me, Aki. <laughs> right. Well, this is this is heavy debt, man. Right. Um. Let me look for some stuff in my other tabs. Um. Uh. What's the word? Let me see. Yeah, you because know, then we start getting into things I don't fully know that well. So. Yeah. Let me. Can I pull this in? Yeah. Let me do that. Let me try do that. I'll just show the images. I don't want to give the incorrect information, but then you see this thing here, debt to GDP, right? Which is your GDP's gross domestic uh, um, uh, product, right? Your gross domestic product uh, being basically how much does that nation produce, right? And then basically here, when you look at Japan, let's not forget Japan is basically one of America's vassal states, right? It's a major vassal state for the U.S. empire, right? But you basically just see that like boom, okay? But basically America is not coming out of this. This is it. This is done. Um, so let's hope that there is a credit event real soon, man, right? These are the things that we look for. So as always, those with those edifying. Till next time we say, Shalom.